Hello and welcome back to the Trinity Stamps YouTube channel. Today we're going to take a close-up look at the new Ribbon Rosette die set. This die set is so much fun and it creates a prize ribbon, but there's so many different things you can do with this die set. I'm going to show you exactly how to put it together and you're going to find out how easy it is once you see it done. Okay, in the set you're going to get three different sentiments so you can use this for different occasions. We have happy birthday, best friend, and congrats, and some layering pieces. Here's what they look like when they're all put together so you can see right up front what they look like. We're going to make one together today so that you can see how to put it together and know what to do when you get your die set. And you can see how cute these are and there's so many possibilities. You could put them on a card, you could put a pin on them and somebody could wear them. You could put them on a banner, on a present. Um, you could leave the lower banners off and make a cupcake topper. So many fun things to do with this. So now let's jump in and make one together. You are going to take the largest die from this set and die cut that out three times in order to create the rosette part of this project. And you can see the die is going to create some scored lines for you and little tabs at the end where you put your adhesive. And then I like to use the solid circle die, die cut that out from cardstock backed with our rip and stick paper. That's going to help you adhere this and help it to stay closed. <laughs> All right, so next we're going to take our one fourth of an inch rip and stick tape, put that on the tabs and hook these three pieces together, creating a giant C shape. You'll see what that looks like right here as I put the last piece on, lining up the edge with the scored line at the end of each piece. Then we're going to accordion fold this or zigzag fold, peak valley, peak valley, right on those scored lines. And the die has done that for you, which makes it a lot easier because this is not a perfectly shaped C. It's got some ridges and indents, and that is what helps it have that rosette shape. So once we get done with the folding, we're going to come to that final flap at the end that has the adhesive on it. And we're going to take that backing off and adhere the end, that flap, to the beginning piece and it's going to create a circle. And that is how we're going to create the rosette shape. So here we are at that flap, we're going to remove the adhesive on it, the backing, <laughs> and I added a little liquid glue because I really like to have liquid glue and uh, dry adhesive when doing 3D projects. So now here's that circle that I added the rip and stick sheet to and I added some liquid glue as well because I like that really strong hold. Then I'm just going to gather up all of those folds and create that rosette shape and then I have my circle ready to go once I have it just how it goes, just how I want it, I can grab that circle and stick it down. The wet adhesive is going to help me be able to move it around if I need to and the dry adhesive is going to stick right away and then I'm just going to hold that in place for a minute and then I'm going to flip this over and do the same exact thing on the other side. You could also use some hot glue for this. It holds these really well um, but I found that these circles have held up really well over time. So then once that is set we can work on the other parts of this ribbon rosette. So here's the circle with the zigzag edge and then we have our solid circle which you can use with the sentiment circles and when you cut them together you get a circle with the sentiment right in the middle. Then we can layer all these things up. Here's the other two sentiments as well. All right, so when I layer these up, I think it's really fun to add some dimension behind the sentiment and pop that up onto a second solid circle. But you don't have to have the second solid circle. You could stick this right down to your zigzag circle. All right, then I stick those all together and add this right to that ribbon rosette. So if you don't get the circle with the adhesive on it perfectly centered, this decorative piece will cover that up. So there's two long banner pieces, and this is what's going to create the tails of the ribbon rosette. I like to do two of each and then stick the rosette part on top. There is a kind of a 
embossed line on the larger banner, which helps you know exactly where to stick the other banner. And then once I have those layered up, I'm going to offset them and glue them together, add a little glue to the top of that and stick it down to my ribbon rosette. And then I also like to add a little tape on the back, but you could also do another solid circle right there and kind of sandwich them in if you wanted something extra on the back to hold it together. All right, now I'm going to decorate this up. I've been creating a lot of strawberry themed projects. I just created a zip gift tag holder with a strawberry theme and a strawberry milk carton. I'm going to have both of those videos linked for you at the end of this one. So if you want to check them out, if you're into strawberry things too, you can check those out next. So I decided to add two strawberries. This strawberry stamp is from the carton companion stamp set. And I think the strawberry is so cute. I love all things strawberry. So I added those to give this even more of a strawberry feel with that red and green look. I'm adding a few little embellishments right above the word happy birthday and um, just gluing those in place. And this would be a really fun thing to add to a gift bag, I think. You could put a little loop of twine at the top and hang this on a gift bag. And then I tied a piece of ribbon, added a glue dot to the knot, and I'm going to put that right below the rosette just for an even more ribbony feel to this and a different texture besides paper. I love that, especially on 3D projects. So we'll trim this down and it is just as cute as it can be. And there's so many different ways that you can use this. You can completely leave the tails off of it if you wanted to. And I think that's going to give it a whole nother look. This is going to make a really thick card if you wanted to put it on a card, but sometimes that's totally called for and you can do a card that's hand delivered or added inside of a package and it's really fun to have something three dimensional. Also, when you fold this up, it makes such a sturdy project. I just love that about this. I added some glaze and glitter to my strawberries to make them even more special and I love how this turned out and I think that you are going to have so much fun with this ribbon rosette die set and now you know how to put it together so you're going to want to make a ton just like I have and by the way you should know that we have add-on die sets for this this is the ribbon rosette baby add-on we have big brother big sister and mommy to be as well as some baby themed add-ons and this is going to give you different sentiments that you can put in the middle of the ribbon rosette just like this. So here you can see I did one without the tails and then I did mommy to be, added the onesie and the little baby feet and die cut this from patterned paper, which is so much fun to do. You can use lots of different specialty papers with this die set. We also have the ribbon rosette mom add-on, which has mom boss. And then we have a different shaped banner on this one where you can put the word best, the word grand, and then we've got big jumbo letters that you you can spell out the word mom or wow <laughs> or ow and here you can see that one all done up and I really love that it has a butterfly in it and it also has the number um, one with hashtag number one in it so good so this one's got some gold mirror paper with it I think it's just really fun to use your specialty papers on these the glitter paper mirrored paper pattern paper all the things so there's a look at all the ribbon rosettes that I've made I'm sure that you could make a ton of these yourself and have so much fun doing it. Thank you for stopping by. And if you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment box below. And I will see you all again very soon with a new video. Happy stamping. Bye.